Okay, wow. I've been busy, probably for just two, three nights, just straight up learning um, coding. And turns out like th there's, a, there's a lot that I know, but there's so much that I don't know. The questions that I had on my mind was, if we're gonna build a website and it's one HTML file, how do big companies like Netflix and Uber and Facebook, how do they collaborate on this HTML file when there are literally hundreds of developers um, all globally? It turns out Microsoft has this um, documentation around composite UIs and this is something I'm actually interested in because this is what was on my mind is how do we, when we build this website, it's gonna be quite monolithic when all these microservices are decoupled all neatly what happens to the user interface and there's this concept called composite UI where you can actually break down the user interface into smaller blocks and each of these blocks are independent and they have their own functions and features and if they're down it actually falls back the website can fall back to something else so this is a very neat decoupled architecture for UI based microservices what I wanted to do was build up my own HTML file now you can see here we have an HTML simple HTML file with a header, body, footer, um, and a script tag. Now, I wanted to decouple this, so I was looking at, I've been exploring Nginx server-side injection. Basically what I did was I started up with this basic HTML page and I was thinking how can I decouple all these bits and pieces so that this file doesn't become a monstrosity and Nginx has the ability to, to inject components. So you can see here I'm injecting my header, I'm injecting a body, I'm injecting footer and I'm injecting scripts and if you go into these separate files they're all neatly broken down. I've got my footer there, I've got my header over here which is my navigation and I have my index page and then there's a body 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 here we go body and the content will be rendered inside here now I needed a web server so I chose nginx if I show you how insanely small this web server is 16 megabytes that is like super tiny web server now I don't want massive node images and things like I don't want all this dependencies and stuff on this on the server I want just my static HTML file minified bundled and deployed to this web server so I created this docker file and in this docker file I say I want nginx I want an nginx configuration where I have SSI turned on and then I pull in my static files which I've just showed you earlier then I have this docker compose file that we're just interested in this part um, points to that docker file to build it and it will run on this port if I go docker compose up it will build and it's up and running I can then head over to my site and that's my site so I have my nav bar I have my content and my footer and look at this when I make it smaller it's already just responsive so it will work on mobile and desktop and the way I did that was this neat program uh, called bootstrap so head over to get bootstrap.com and go to their go, go over to their examples and you can literally go to any of these examples that has like a style or some sort of feel that you want in terms of your the frame of the site in this case i'm only really caring about the header the body the footer i don't care about anything else the, the styling all the the fancy flashy stuff comes later so i click on one of these and you can just right click and say view page source and this gives you all the html and you can literally just delete all of this and just go with the frame 
that's what I've done. So you can see in my index.html, I have a reference to Bootstrap and that takes care of all the responsiveness stuff and eventually you can apply a theme. So Bootstrap theming is also pretty powerful. Uh, and then when you want to get into the JavaScript and the CSS and all the styling bits, you can just play with the theme and start editing and making it look smart and all of that. At this point, we just want to build the frame. Yeah, we, we literally just want to build this outer piece. The outer piece. And we want to give a header area. We want to give a body area and the footer area. And the microservices will load up inside there when we start getting into the meat of it. I realized how much I don't know in terms of like UI development. So it's not just a simple HTML file. Um, there are things like Angular, Knockout.js and React. And there's a, there's a whole bunch. Um, React seems to be one of the popular ones. And it's pretty neat because React allows you to do exactly this. You render all these different components as different React components, and then you load them up in one big composite UI that just renders all of this stuff. 